So again, we're, we're glad that you're here. Thank you for the opportunity for us to host you, and it's certainly our honor and brand. I'm just glad to see you again and can't wait to connect later in the day. Thank you. And with that, I'm going to introduce Brand and let him talk about the WikiWeb today. Dr. Calvin Andrus with the CIA. And it was amazing to hear about the changes that he's brought to the CIA in the way they work and collaborate through wikis and blogs. And he actually introduced his talk by talking about the behavior of ants. And it's the same for bees. It's called emergent behavior. Ants know how to naturally work together collaboratively. So I say hello to you. <laughs> your, your group is, is, uh, is doing uh, the same kind of thing that I'm doing. Now we're becoming more aware of one another and that's what this is all about. Uh, we draw strength from finding out what we're doing and sharing best practices. So just like they say at the beginning of the Las Vegas fights, when the announcer says, let's get ready to rumble, I'm gonna to say to you, let's get ready to collaborate with wikis today. So the question is to you, do you wiki wiki? Does anybody wiki in this room yet? Anybody blog? Okay. Okay, so wiki comes from the Hawaiian word meaning fast. And uh, I've worked with a lot of tools and this is certainly the fastest, cheapest, uh, easiest one yet. Uh, and it supports the way we work. This is the other important part of the breakthrough at the CIA and in our experience with the federal government was it, it can't really be a separate tool from what you do so that you do your work like in Word, uh, word processing, email, and then you come over and copy it or do another version. It has to really support the way you work and work collaboratively. And there are really three functions that it has to support in this collaborative wiki that we use does. It has to support threaded email discussion, uh, management of f file attachments, and then the writable web. And we're even looking to expand it, as you'll see, to including online chat to support our workshops. And then a whole new realm called semantic technology and agent technology. All right, communities of practice. You are a community of practice, whether you call yourself that or, or realize it. Uh, you can go to Wikipedia, which is an, an interesting example of both a community of practice and a tremendous product that a community of practice has produced. Uh, the latest results that we heard at our last workshop were that the scientific analysis of the accuracy of Wikipedia is, is certainly comparable to that of, of recognized encyclopedias. Uh, it's just a different process. It's a self-governing process, just like ants. Uh, emergent behavior. Somebody gets out of line a little bit, <laughs> somebody in the community or the whole community uh, uh, deal with that situation. Here's what our collaborative wiki looks like. You can't really read this because I wanted to put both of these. But you can see the, the web address and I'm going to go to that. It's collab.sim3.net slash wiki. Okay. Or if you go to gsa.gov slash collaborate you'll get to it as well. And this on the right side just explains that originally it was done to support our communities of practice across the government. And we even had a private or confidential version of the wiki for some of the discussions we wanted to have in developing the federal data reference model. So the first lesson is in using the wiki is don't start from scratch necessarily, all you can, and in a minute we'll start from scratch for your group. But go look through all the wiki pages because there's a page index here. And the nice thing is that uh, in terms of governance of the wiki, you might ask, well, what if somebody spams the wiki? Well, we've effectively dealt with the spammers by having a simple login. And what that does is most spammers now don't take the time to personally spam a wiki. They send out their spam bot. And the login feature we have uh, just blocks the spam bots. But if somebody wants to do some mischief within our community or outside our community, here's what they do. They leave a trail. <laughs> there's, no, there's no doing anything in the wiki without uh, leaving a trail. And if this was a true spammer, and he did it more than once, then we would take his IP address and block it from using the, using the wiki. So we have a low tolerance <laughs> for people that uh, mess around in this space. Let's now go to a little higher level in terms of the structure. What did the data reference model conclude we ought to do? Now, hopefully this diagram will simplify some terms that might be a little complex for some of you. 
particularly if I use the word meta model and a model. But don't get turned off by its, the, the terms if they're, they're complex to you. Just focus on the concept. And let's do it in both, in both top-down and bottom-up ways. The key part of that, making it reusable, is to use open standards and open formats. And that's what our workshops are all about. Our mantra for our collaboration workshops and our communities of practice are open collaboration with open standards. Because in our environment, the federal government, we've had an endless stream of, of vendors come to us and say, oh, I have the intergalactic solution to this problem in the government. Oh, I have the intergalactic solution to this problem in this government. We say, hold on. We're not going to rip and replace in the government so that you are it or you are it. We're going to move you all up in interoperability so we're all it. Okay? That's the concept. So we say to the vendor, well, you can come to our community and make an active contribution if you're willing to do open collaboration with open standards. Anyway, so you probably have, how many groups, you have OGDA, but I know you have Region 4, you have, you have maybe what, three or four communities of interest here or communities of practice? We'll, we'll actually write that down in a minute, but uh, if you do, you probably need to start thinking about what we call a cop of cops. The wiki changes the paradigm from edit, then publish. It inverts that paradigm. Publish, and then edit. Okay? And this is what we have in the current wiki. The ones in the semantic wiki are the ones you see in the middle. The ones on the right are what we call a semantic agent wiki, which is the current semantic, semantic wiki we're using is also supports semantic agents. So this is not, this is not toy stuff. <laughs> it's scalable and powerful. Here's the contact information. And if time permits, I'm going to show you the very, some examples from the last one. I did a presentation recently where they asked me to kind of do a tour, a guided tour of all the collaborate, the various ways we use the collaborative wiki in the government.